Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. In the third part of uh, lecture four in our uh, AutoCAD basics course, we're going to talk today about how to draw a plan. And in this uh, very basic slide that I prepared, I just, uh, you know, like using the previous uh, example that I gave, it's uh, very early. I think it was uh, the first ever handout I gave to my students. Basically, that's uh, outside border of a land made of, I think, 24 meter by 10.2 meters. So the first step uh, to draw this, uh, you know, a plan in it, a draw method or drawing a plan method is to go outside and draw the boundary of the land. And then simply uh, uh, out after the site, you go and, you know, drawing the specify area that I hatch here with the red lines. And you start up from, uh, you know, any corner that you have dimension, you go down by that dimension. With F8, of course, you go left and then down and then right, left again and up. All the available, all the information actually available here and here, you just go up and then without any looking at the dimension, then trim. To get the outside borders of the house within the, uh, the overall border of the land. So that's the second step, of course, in, uh, you know, drawing that plan. And then we use offset command, a specific value, let's say 250, and that requires us later on to trim or fill it the corners as we did in, in, in the couple of, uh, uh, in the previous tutorial that I show you. Like you just, just hit TR space space and remove the extra lines here in the corner or F space, R space, zero space with M if you want to make it multiple and keep clicking on the sides to get rid of uh, you know the extra lines on the edges and have the result as shown here in the red borders so uh, the third step will be creating the or offsetting and trimming the outside borders of the house to create the outside external walls uh, and then we can uh, actually just start using offset i would highly recommend for you to do just an offset for the inner side or inner face of the wall or just draw construction lines where you can use or trace above them the partitions that you have inside the house. So um, just like that, you specify these dimensions, either vertical uh, partitions or guidelines, and then the horizontal guidelines, and then use the intersection or snap, and you know start to create or close those uh, lines to create partitions, as shown in here. And eventually, just uh, you know delete the guidelines, and you get end up having those partitions available for you. Uh, maybe you can just offset that line to that, you know, with a specific by knowing the actual required inner dimension, and then offset that with the thickness of the partition and so on with the left and right sides, and then clean the area to get the partition ready as as you can see here. So that's the end up result, and the basic command used uh, actually are uh, uh, just the offset and a couple of trims. Uh, based on the available uh, dimension that you have, the available internal dimension from face to face for each room. So you can, you know, go ahead and draw the, you know, like um, uh, extra partitions that we have or uh, a furniture that goes within, like this uh, cabinet uh, that buried inside the walls. Uh, that's it. That's another issue to talk about anyway. So by having this, it would be a good idea to draw a door and uh, it again, basically uh, you just offset either from the end face, inner face here, uh, 200 and then, uh, you know, a 1000 to the right, which is the door opening, probably an extend and then trim to create the architectural fenestration as an opening first without drawing the door itself. Then you can go ahead and draw like a line with a, a length of a thousand millimeter and then the circle starting from this point to this point as the end of the result at the end of the radius and then you know trim to get this very basic door as you can see in here. And that might be suitable for uh, you know like a, a 1 to 200 or 1 to uh, 500 uh, way uh, scale sorry to represent the door. But when you go to one to one hundred or one to fifteen, that you that that scale for the plan, you might need to redraw the door with uh, you know the actually showing the frame and the thickness of the leaf, rather than just uh, you know like a line and arc. 
for the window it will be technically the same so you can either draw it that way in a very high scales like uh, you know talking about one to two hundred just the three lines one from the end point to end point end point to end point and then from midpoint to midpoint uh, or you can go ahead and offset that a 50 and the 50 or whatever the thickness of the of the window and then trim those extra small lines and then go ahead and you know offset that line for the middle and side a little bit up and a little bit down to create uh, the thickness of the glass I, I saw lots of people just actually leaving three lines in the middle and then two lines on the edge uh, and some people just delete that line in the middle and make them just the four lines as overall so that's basically like a, a theoretical or a, you know like a very simple guidelines of how to draw uh, a plan uh, based on this specific method and I'm going to show you now in a more step-by-step -step how to do that and again uh, that's all based on uh, lecture 4 uh, I believe in next lectures I'm gonna show you uh, more methods uh, to draw plans so that's a basically a very simple first method of drawing plans by the existence or the by the actually provision of an external dimension for everything without the existence of columns without for example the existence of grid lines or axis uh, which might be a method depending on you know just a sketch or scan document uh, or the provision of internal dimension that will be discussed as other methods of drawing plans so for now I'm just gonna draw for you uh, the the basic plan uh, changing or starting from external boundaries of the land then the external boundary of the house and then offset that down create the partition open the architectural fenestration or architectural opening and then drawing the doors and windows so for that <clears throat> for that's very simple plan uh, it's just a 17 by 18 and I just draw that rectangle uh, by 17 and 18 and then I offset it a four meters away from that based on you know that's four that's four and that's four to create the external you know parts of the or external border of the house and that's the external border of the land uh, obviously the thickness is 200 for both the house and the fence the external walls of the house which is here <coughs> sorry and the external fence so that will be our friend offset point two and we might go and you know click each line and goes to the inside of the house of the border actually to have this guy like this and probably doing the same thing for the fence in the same time would be a good idea just to cut out the repetition of using commands now f space r space zero space m space which is always do it once after that just F space M space and to clean the you know the remaining you know get rid of this small lines you can use trim but it might be not a good idea later on I'll show you why that might uh, actually be faster for example here trim is not your really friend so uh, that's it basically so you know like we manage now to create or we change those outlines for the land and outlines for the house into more like a plan now we need to get rid now we would have the external things now we need to do the internal walls so always keep in mind to create the important part which is the external constructional parts of the building I will go to extend and you know <clears throat> increase the length of those two lines uh, by that extension we created that partition or inner wall and now I need to create that inner wall by 3.5 offset from clear interface to the interface so again an offset of 3.5 and then offset of a 0.2 now TR space is space fill it will not be really our friend here so we're gonna get rid of those lines get this result now that's the second step or the third step so the first step is the outside boundaries is a line and the second step the outside boundaries uh, of the house offset and then the partitions now we need to open the doors and windows <coughs> 
sorry, uh, that's a 400 mil thickness and 0.4 by 1. So let's do that. Offset 0.4 and then offset 1. Trim space, select that guy, and then another space to get rid of those lines and trim space space to do this. Now that the first door opening created, now you don't need to repeat that in here. Just rather select those two lines up and then push the 1.24 on the face. So I'm gonna zoom in here, take that line from here, place it in here, and then move those two lines to the right side by 1.2 and trim. Same thing here, it's 0.2, so copy, rotate, move previous to the edge of the wall, and then move previous again to push them up by 0.2. Trim that like this, and you get yourself uh, the third opening here. Now for windows, they are 1 and then 2 and then 1, so offset 1, and offset 1 here and 1 here, and you can just extend that guy a little bit, and then trim, select that guy and that guy, and we get ourselves the opening done once. So here again, it's 0.5 by 2. Beautiful. So I'm going to copy that to here and then move those as uh, I think 0.5 if I'm not wrong. No, I'm wrong. So it's 0.3. It's undo. It should be, uh, yeah, it should be 0.5 from this point, thickness of the wall 0.2. So 0.3, that's it. And then I'm going to mirror that here and then trim once like that. So now all the architectural opening done. Now I can just, you know, simply, I uh, know I'm working here in layers and I will explain that as I said again. In your case, just uh, you can change the color just, uh, you know, for now and start drawing with a green thing or green color. Uh, actually, I'm having these uh, layers here. Uh, now, what do you have to do? This frame door. I have a couple of videos that I uploaded in the in the playlist of AutoCAD from an old playlist to explain that how it's done. But anyway, I'm gonna explain it again. Just offset 0.5, which is the thickness of the frame. <clears throat> Sorry, it's offset 0.05. REC. Now you have a line here, a yellow line, see, this guy, it's hidden, so if you move the frame, you see that's, that guy is still there. The best way to remove it is, you know, like this window that way, and then this window that way, all of it to be included in this blue selection. Don't use the green one, because you're going to select the green frame, anyway, and hit delete. Now it's 0.05 by 0.05, that means 0.1, and the door opening is uh, a complete one, so you have to go up a 0.9, 0.05, and then 0.9, then close the circle. <coughs> Sorry. Trim. And that's it. I'll copy those, but actually in the later lecture I'm going to show you how you can do that in a block. A different command that unify all those objects into one. Reduce the headache we have in here by copy paste all those lines. I'll change the dimension uh, thing, or I can just, uh, you know, select another layer. I'm going to explain that again for you. For your case, just change the color into cyan 
forget about the layers for now I'm gonna explain it soon for you same technique here again offset 0.05 and then rectangle and then remove the construction line with window the blue selection this one and then just three lines I can copy all those together to all other opening available here in, the, in this plan and we get ourselves our first plan drawn correctly and easily and uh, always pay attention to those three strings it's actually a four strings if I you know like uh, having a grid there will be a fourth string here for the grid or the axis this guy is for the overall north or for the overall you know the start point and end point for the overall building and this guy just for this elevation 9 and this guy also to describe the details probably still confusing here this is better that's for all east projection both uh, with both masses this mass and this map it goes for 10 that one is a 3.9 to indicate uh, it's actually a mistake here isn't it yeah probably so it should be yeah it should be 4 actually nice that I catch that so it should be 4 at that point and uh, 6 at this edge to describe all this you know that's part of the east elevation and all that and then the third line comes comes here for the details so from here to here is one then the width of the window two and then one and so on same thing here the overall projection of the south is nine two masses five by four and then you have 0.4 to the door and then one the door and then 2.6 and so on so that's for detail or opening anyway I wish that you find uh, that uh, video or uh, you know solving the, the, the quiz number one uh, for the second class uh, useful and also uh, that video that specific video uh, that to talk about how to draw a plan uh, also useful so by finishing how to finish the or how to solve the quiz number one in both classes one and two I'll finish those steps of how to draw an external uh, a plan with an external dimension we actually come to the end of lecture uh, 4 and I wish to see you again in the next video in lecture 5 to talk more about our basic AutoCAD. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day. Bye bye.